So as many of you have probably noticed from the last video, the SDK has been released for the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro. Great news for everyone who wants to do mapping, but there is some bad news, and we're going to get into that right now because I think some of you are going to be very, very upset by this. The news isn't good, but for some of you, it is good news. But let's get into it. Hey everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys, it's great to see you again and we are back talking about the SDK for the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro. First of all, let's get into what SDK actually means because many people have been asking about this. So SDK stands for Software Development Kit. This is basically, it unlocks the software on the drone which allows it to develop into other third-party applications such as Pix4D, it can be Drone Link, Drone Deploy, and also Lechi, which many of you use. So I know that many of you are very excited about the prospect of using the Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro with these applications, but we need to be careful now because there are restrictions. Of course there are, and we're going to get into that. So basically where we're going to start off with is if you own the RC, now this is where things get a bit complicated because uh, you will not be able to use the third-party applications with the RC. Uh, the RC is only going to be just for doing your normal flights as you've been doing. If you want to do uh, anything which involves third-party applications, you are going to have to use the N1 controller. And I know many of you have got rid of the N1 controller because you wanted to have the RC, but you cannot load any applications onto the RC, unlike the RC Pro. So this is where it gets complicated. Now, if we have a look at the, um, if we have a look at the release notes, we can actually see that the uh, that all the functions that are going to come in here are basically for the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro on on this part here but we can see that the Mini 3 is only going to be uh, actually working with the N1 controller and the Mini 3 Pro will be working with the N1 and the RC Pro when it comes to using third-party applications. So you can still use the RC, but if you want to use any of those third-party, then you have to either use the N1 controller or for the RC, uh, sorry, for the Mini 3 Pro, the RC Pro. So that means that the Mini 3 Pro will now become um, functional with the RC Pro, but the Mini 3 will not become compatible with the RC Pro. So it's getting complicated here with this. So uh, the RC will be with both of the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro, the N1 controller will be with the um, uh, Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro, and the RC Pro will only become functional with the Mini 3 Pro. You will be able to do third-party applications with the N1, with the uh, Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 3, um, but you will only be able to do third-party applications with the RC Pro. So it's very complicated. Now, even worse news than this is that you will not be able to do anything with iOS. Now, because the release notes of this are quite clearly stating that this is only functional with uh, Android. Uh, there is no, um, there, you know, there is no release for iOS. So it looks like DJI are moving away from the SDK with the uh, with the iOS. Uh, I think you know the DJI Fly will still will still be available and you can still use it. And you can still fly, but you just won't be able to use third-party applications with iOS or so only with Android devices. Uh, and I know many people are not happy about that. But um, this so 
you know, this is where it's getting complicated and this is going to upset a lot of people. So um, please let me know in the comments. I hope you haven't sold your N1 controller because I know many of you went out and bought an RC, sold your N1 so you could just use this. But this is not going to work if you're going to use the third party applications. You need to have the N1 for that and then you will have the RC Pro if you want to use the Mini 3 Pro. Complicated, isn't it? I know. I'll leave a link in the description for the SDK and release notes, so you can have a look at that yourself. Uh, there's a couple of other things in there. there. There's going to be waypoint missions in in there for the Mini Mini Three Pro uh, as well. So, you know, not too many uh, new functions in there, but there are some functions. So you can have a look through the code, uh, and uh, and if you understand that, that's fine. Uh, thank you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate all the views and all the support and all the comments we've had over the past 48 hours. Uh, we'll see you on the next video and I hope you're not too annoyed by this because this is this is quite annoying for many people, I'm sure. Uh, but unfortunately, DJI are, are, you know, are doing it this way. This is the way it's going. So we'll see you on the next video. As always, thanks and fly safe.